Welcome to PVP TV. Dance Hall History Top 10 Female Jamaican Reggae Singers Brought to you by Unity Crew Records and PVP Logo Designs. I'm Simone Robinson. Number 10, Lady Patra. In her beginnings as a female dance hall DJ in the late 1980s, she used the stage name Lady Patra. Patra first made an impression on the US charts as a featured singer on the Shaba Rank song Family Affair, which hit No. 84 on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1994. In 1993, Patra released her debut album Queen of the Pack. Number 1 on the Reggae Albums Chart It was led by the single Think About It in 1993, which peaked at number 21 on the Billboard Rap Singles Chart 6, and number 89 on R&B. Her follow-up single Worker Man became a bigger hit, reaching number 53 on the Hot 100, the top 20 on the R&B Chart and number 1 on the US Dance Chart. The album's third and final single, Romantic Call, Number 55 U.S., Number 21 U.S. Dance was a collaboration with MC Yo-Yo. Number 9, Grace Jones. My Jamaican Guy put her in the Jamaican female singers category. Jones had three albums with the Compass Point All-Stars, Lion Robbie, Were Warm Leather at 1980, Night Clubbing 1981, and Slave to the Rhythm 1985. Jones consistently in the 1980s made inroads in international charts. Her top 40 entries on the UK singles chart were Pull Up to the Bumper, I've Seen That Face Before, Private Life, Slave to the Rhythm, and I'm Not Perfect. Slave to the Rhythm was ranked on VH1's 100 Greatest Women of Rock and Roll. Warm Leatherette charted in the UK and the USA. Night Clubbing was Jones' highest ranking album the US Billboard Mainstream Albums and R&B Charts. It also made the top five in four countries. It was also the number one on NME's Album of the Year and made Slant Magazine list 40 of best albums of the 1980s. Night Clubbing is now widely considered by critics as Jones' best studio album. Jones' Compass Point All-Stars production resulted in her one-man show a performant art pop theater video by Jean-Paul Goud. Number 8. Sandra Cross The single I Adore You went to the number one spot in the UK reggae charts when she 14 years old. Cross is a talented singer-songwriter with a record of five number one singles and ten top ten selling albums. Her top ten hits include Put It On, Country Living It's You, You're Lying, I Just Don't Care and I Can't Let You Go. Cross has won eight UK, Reggae Music and Entertainment Awards, and the title of the BBC Listeners Britain's Best Female Reggae Singer for six consecutive years between 1986 to 1991. Number 7. Janet Kay. The Queen of Lovers Rock, her 1979 Hit Silly Games, hit top the UK and European charts. Kay made history in the Music Guinness Book of Records, as the first British-born black female to have a reggae song at the top of the British charts. Janet's albums have sold in excess of a million copies in Japan. Kay's Love You Always sold over 400,000 copies in Japan. She is listed as one of Britain's top 100 Black Britons by the Evening Standard newspaper. Number 6. J.C. Lodge Cover of country singers Charlie Pride Someone Loves You, Honey in 1980 topped the Jamaican charts worldwide and earned her gold and platinum status in the Netherlands. Her 1988 hit Telephone Love was the first dance hall track to break dance hall reggae in the R&B and hip-hop markets in the United States. 
topping the urban charts in New York and other cities. Number 5. Diana King The single Shy Guy a hit on two continents the 90s, number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the US, number 1 on the European Hot 100 chart and 2 on the UK chart, sold 3 million worldwide. Her first album, Tougher Than Love sold 6 million units. Shy Guy was also featured on the soundtrack of the blockbuster movie Bad Boys, starring Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. In 1997 Diana's Think Like a Girl album peaked on Billboard's top reggae album chart at 1 in her cover of Say a Little Prayer for You. Featured on the soundtrack of the movie My Best Friend's Wedding, peaked on Billboard's Hot 100 Top 40. Number 4. Millie Small The 1964 hit, My Boy Lollipop, initially sold 600,000 copies in the UK, has sold over 7 million copies worldwide, and made the Australian charts. She is the first internationally successful Jamaican female singer. Number 3. Judy Mowat The former dancer with the Estrelita Dancers, choreographer for the I3s, began her career as the lead singer of the girl group, The Galettes. The Galettes' hits included Silent River Deep and I Like Your World. Mowat's solo career and name to Julianne saw hits like I'm Alone, I Love You, Too Good For Me. Like Marsha Griffith, Judy joined with Rita Marley a part of for Bob Marley and the Whalers Harmony Trio of the I3s. She continued her successful solo history making career in music. Judy Mowat is the first female to write sing and produced her own album, The Seminal Anthemic Black Woman. With her Love is Overdue album Judy was the first Jamaican female Grammy nominated in the early 1980s. Her Working Wonders 1985 album nomination saw her competing American R&B legend Anita Baker for the NAACP Image Award. Number 2. Phyllis Dillon Griffith's peer is one of the queens of the rock steady. Dylan dominated local charts in Jamaica and in the UK with hits like Don't Stay Away One Life to Live, Love That a Woman Can Give a Man Perfidia, and Don't Touch My Tomato. Dylan died of cancer in 1994. And number 1. Marcia Griffiths Marcia is Jamaican music's most successful female singer and most consistent hit maker. Five decades of being an international star of the world stage, she remains the most enduring presence in Jamaican music. Her solo career began in the 1960s morphed into success in the United Kingdom's BBC charts with singer-songwriter Bob Andy on the duo's remake of Nina Simone Young Gifted and Black in 1971 and their follow-up Pied Piper. In the 1980s her single Electric Boogie spawned a worldwide dance craze the electric slide that endures to today. In the 1970s Marcia became a member of I3's Bob Marley at the Whalers Back of Harmony Trio featuring Rita Marley and Judy Mowat. Except for Phyllis Dillon no female artist has came close. Which female Jamaican reggae singers do you think is missing from this list? We want to hear from you! Tell us by leaving a comment below and join us next week on Dance Hall History.